baddies. I think it's officially time to start a new vlog. Hello everyone, welcome. My name's Alexis Barber, I'm 22, I live in Brooklyn. I work full time in big tech and I'm also a content creator. I look like shit right now. So I just had an episode where I redesigned my entire apartment despite there being no need to on a Saturday instead of editing my YouTube videos and podcasts which are meant to come out tomorrow. So that's great. I, and my friend invited me out. So you know what that means? We're making a skinny mark. <laughs> I'm going to Julan, which I love. The food is incredible. The vibe is immaculate. If you're wondering, this mark was two shots Espelon, two shots lime juice, three um, sugar-free sweeteners, a drizzle of light agave, a little bit of slightly flat um, seltzer water in a thing. And I just ordered a new bar car. You guys are going to love it. I didn't do my nails before I go out. Fuck. At least I know what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna be fucking late. I'm late. I just rearranged my entire apartment. Like, this channel should just be me and my apartment, you know? Like, because at this point, like, this is the third, fourth time. So let's see what we're working with. I filmed a vertical before, but this is like what we're working with now. So my main issue was my desk, like I was getting bored of that, but it didn't actually work where I thought it would go, which is like right here. And then this thing I took off the wall and fucking ruined the wall. So I think I'm gonna use this as a nightstand cause I kind of like how that looks, just like the asymmetry. And then I'm gonna get rid of this nightstand and make a bar cart here, which will be fun. This all is the same. The thing is, I don't love how the mirror looks in here, um, but I'm gonna try and take these down and then see how I feel. This is all the shit that goes on that. But I think the real issue here is we need a new dresser. You know I fucking hate this dresser, okay? We need a new dresser. I also think I want a new table. So I'm gonna look into all that, but this is my progress. <laughs> I'm so annoying, I know. I know I am, but I love it. So. Putting on the foundation. I'm fully late, don't know what time it is, but don't my boobs look good? Oh, well, I'm also just excited to go out with my friends. Um, last weekend, I was just so anxious when I went out. And then this time I was just so, and then like before that I had a bad experience out with like a bartender being racist per usual. If you're a black girl and you go out, you know that happens. Where like they let the like drunk as fuck white girl in. But then they don't let you in and then you get triggered because you've had a horrible experiences of men in your lifetime. Oh yeah, yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. Right, that one, okay. So then I had come home that night and then after that, um, was mostly like hanging out with my boyfriend's friends, which has been really fun. But of course, like they're not my, original friends as much as I love them like I need to make sure I have my own friends and I cultivate those relationships too so that is leading me to why I'm so excited to spontaneously go out like we didn't plan on going out at all we didn't have plans um but it is now but like she called me at like six while I was in my episode of redoing my apartment and she's literally moving into an apartment right now it was like, I just got this reservation. Do you want to come? So, this is the look. Nasty gal top. These are Zara jeans, the, the wide leg ones. And they go a little lower than the other H&M ones, which I originally planned on wearing. Dolce Vita heels, Balenciaga bag. I mean, bad bitches are shaking everywhere. but I think because I haven't drank, tequila really fucked with me. So I'm 
hungover. All I need to do is eat this pho. Like it's the only thing. I got a manager recently and the deals that she has been bringing me. Beginning of the week and it is time for me to just like get my life together. So, so I have like a ton of sponsored content due. Um, and a full-time freaking job and I could just don't even know how I'm gonna like survive but I did the adult thing and had groceries so this was delivered to me it's made meals I've talked about them every single day for the last multiple months because I don't know how these people get like microwave pre-made food to taste better than a restaurant like, doesn't make sense to me. I'm so excited because I didn't have it last week because I traveled and this is going to be amazing. So let me just tell you, I get the chimichurri flank steak. steak. And so it's all local organic sourced materials. It's amazing. Hot pepper honey glazed salmon. Iconic. Delicious. Then the boneless short rib and mashed potatoes. I mean, and they're all like within a pretty good calorie range. Like this short rib, like when I eat short rib, I'm thinking it's an indulgence, but it's like under, you would think it's like a thousand calories. It's like under 500, it's amazing. I decided to be a good girl and cook this week. I'm tired of everything I ordered that is in my place. And additionally, I just am at a place in my life where I feel really bad about my body. Oh, are we going to talk about it? Are we going to talk about it? Yeah. So, many of you know my story about how I blah, 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 blah. She had disordered eating, all this shit, and now she's thriving. Great. But the thing is, ever since I was done traveling, like... Um, a month ago, um, I haven't felt my s the same. Like before we went to Nashville, I was like the most confident I'd ever been in my body. And then I'm not sure if it was just like being around that many people I knew at once, all in swimsuits for five days, or if there was a genuine change in my body. Jeff says there isn't, but I don't believe him. So I just am in a place where like I'm not liking, I'm not liking how I look in the mirror. And I feel a difference. I don't know if it's real or not, if I made it up, because body dysmorphia. But I just want to get back into my ideal routine for myself. I also want to perfect this routine before we go back to the office. Now, we're not going back until October now. So I just want to like get it together, especially while I still have daylight savings on my um, side because I'm quite aware of the fact that I'm going to literally turn into a depressed piece of shit, literally, again, when the fucking sun goes away because I hate it when it is literally cold, you can't do anything. So I need to get into the routine before it comes, you know? So... Um, it's like a big astral astrology day. Oh, I rearranged my apartment. I should show you. It's a big astrology day. And so I'm going to write down some of my intentions. Um, I like to do this like just with a candle burning because it makes me feel like legit about the things that I want and love in my life, you know? So... I think some people call astrology stupid. I, you could say the same about Christianity, but no, not, I'm just kidding. I mean like whatever you need to believe in in order to feel safe, okay, and like calm yourself down in this absurd world that we live in, I'm not gonna judge it unless it's hurting other people. And I don't think astrology hurts anybody. I think that it's a really helpful tool to discover who you are. And for me, it's been a big part of my journaling and it's a big part of just like accepting that it's okay that I am the way I am, you know? So yeah, it's just gonna be great. I'm excited to 
get my life together so um but yeah i'm not feeling my best but it's okay because i'm setting my intentions today um to feel my best so let's go do that together because i certainly like to do that together Target haul. Um, I got some black girl sunscreen, the matte version. Very excited to try this. This curls is my favorite. It smells amazing. I actually got three things from curls. I also got their leave in conditioner and their hair mask. So I'm about to wash my hair right now with all three of these. These are my favorite right now until somebody fucking sponsors me. Period got this because the bottle's white i love the nivea lotion though this is the best lotion um in my opinion but i haven't ever tried this intense healing 72 hour moisture so i'm very excited to do that i also got some shaving cream because my eczema on my legs is out of control if i want to shave i need to get that shit together and then i got a bunch of travel things because stay ready so you don't gotta get ready you know you know, because, oh, well, this is my other black house. I'm just gonna got both versions. Anyway, stay ready so you don't have to get ready because while I was in LA, I ran out of a few things and I went to the big Target this time because my Target doesn't have black house sunscreen. So, Flamingo, this is the best. My esthetician recommended it for the body. Some real Clorox soaps for the plane. And then this other one is my boyfriend's favorite. If we travel together, I have to bring everything. This is some cleansing balm for makeup, which is what I prefer to travel with. And some Dramamine because the last this trip to LA was not good. And then got some boobies because my boobies. I've been noticing that I'm wearing a lot of things without bras recently and my nipples like don't know how to calm down. And then I got underwear because the thing about Target underwear is that each of these is $5. Very good quality, like all the ones I got last time I got in December and they're brand new like they're amazing so I got some more because the thing about underwear um is that somehow I always ruin it because I have a very irregular period due to my birth control being out of fucking control so yeah I'm gonna put all these in the washer and that's what I got from Toisette. Toisette. So I took a shower and wanted to come back and talk. This vlog is just me talking because I'm literally at home and about healthy mindsets. I'm gonna do a whole podcast episode about this, but for my whole life, I've had this belief about myself that I'm not a healthy person or that I self-sabotage or that it's not gonna be possible for me to look a certain way. Um, that it's not gonna be possible for me to have a good relationship with food, with alcohol, with anything. Because, I don't know, for no reason, for no reason. Probably just because of what I saw around me. And I was like having a panic attack about this because I really don't like feel good in my body right now. And I called my boyfriend and he was like, well, he, the way he phrased it at some point in the conversation was just like prioritizing myself. And I was like, whoa, like, I don't know why, but taking care of my health had never really been about taking care of me. Like, duh, fucking makes total fucking sense. But I was shocked because it was like prioritizing my health would is for me. And like, that's never been how I'd seen it before, you know? Like, I've probably said to other people that before. But I haven't been prioritizing myself and my health because like, oh my God, it's just like 
major revelation for me. So, I'm a selfish ass bitch. I will do a lot of shit for myself. So, prioritizing my health and taking care of me, if it's for me, girl, I'm done. It's done. Period. It's done. So, I feel really good about that. Just booked all of my... Um... I just booked all of my gym slots for this week. I love going to the gym. Maybe because I like it, too. And because it makes me feel good. Then I get into a place where I'm like, hey, I have to sabotage this. And because I can't do it all super consistently because my life is so crazy, that's also something that just doesn't make me feel good is not being... Uh, my Something that doesn't make me feel good is not hitting my goals. So I think because I could never hit my insane goals for myself with working out as in like doing it every single day and going crazy with it that was was crazy so I have to take it at a week by week approach like I've got to be like okay this week like for example this week I can hit the gym four times and be fine because my schedule allows for that if my body or resting whatever doesn't allow for that okay cool but my schedule does allow for it now when it comes to next week I don't fucking know what my schedule is next week girl couldn't tell you so whatever it is we'll see but either way that's the tea that's how i'm feeling i feel much better now i've made my plans now i'm gonna make a bolognese good morning friends it is wednesday morning and Good morning, friends. Happy whatever day it is for you. Today um, and last night, been quite the anxious girl. Like, you know, when you took that pit in your chest, like for no reason or many reasons, who really knows. Either way, that's why I forced myself to get up this morning at 6.20 a.m. because I know that following a routine when you're anxious is the most important thing to do and I am vlogging to hold myself accountable. So, starting today, I was going to, so like, so like I was going to go to the gym this morning but I have like a lot of work to catch up on and do and a lot of meetings starting around 10.30ish. So I need to use this next few hours very like efficiently um, to get all of that done so I can feel good. And then when my meetings are done at six tonight, I'm going to go to the gym and then I have and that will keep me like up I think because then I have an 8.30 meeting because I'm meeting with APAC. APAC is a, in, is a different region and obviously they're like 24 hours ahead so it's going to be 8 a.m. for them and it's going to be 8.30 p.m. for me and then I'm going to have a night and go to bed. So these are both iconic products. Paula's Choice Toner, which I had just had to order. I have a ton of packages today. This is good news. Okay, I'll come back when we have packages. Okay, friends, we got a ton of packages. Time to open them. I wanted tapestry, big ass box, no goddamn reason. That's cute, right? We have some Amazonians that I needed. Masks. Why is Billie Eilish on my package? Eilish to send me my Swiffer dusters that I'm out of and my candle lighters because I had a USB candle lighter and it died on me. A Veda. That's fun. No, because look at all of this. Oh, and I just bought hair products. Why did I do this to myself? 
Oh, yes, ma'am. Thank you, Aveda. Ooh, what's in here? Tune in to summer hydration. Speaker. That's fun. I could use that in the shower. Iconic. Hello, friends. Finally, the end of the week. Don't know where I last vlogged for you, but just wanted to check in while we wrap this one up. So... I have been sort of like investing in all the stuff that I sort of skimped out on in the beginning of when I moved here. So this is sort of part of just like making the apartment better slash my own. So this is our progress right now. Um, and the only thing I don't have yet is the new dresser. So the dresser still broken, still a mess, but the next one's coming. Um, I'm about to go to Target and get some things and then get a mani-pedi, but look at my freaking legs. Like, this is so bad. I don't know if any of you all deal with KP or hyperpigmentation in the legs, but even the sun, well, the sun is making this look way worse than it looks in person, but, like, every time, this happens a lot. I don't know what's going on. I think I'm just, like, really dry, but it's stressing me out. I shave properly, like I do so much for it and like don't know what's happening, but the truth, truthfully I've been extremely insecure about my appearance and I know it's coming from other deeper rooted issues and the knowledge of those deeper rooted issues is just really stressing me out. So I've been distracting myself and making myself feel better by obviously like doing the apartment, which is fun. I first have gotten I invested in this fake Dyson from Amazon. I like it a lot so far and it fits right in here. So good. Um, and it like is detachable and has like a lot of cool stuff in it. Here she is in action. Don't you love how quiet? Yeah, I just took off my nail polish. So that's why it looks like this. I also got this cutie little bar cart. How adorable is she? Um, I think it adds a lot of interest to the room when you walk in, so I'm going to stock her up too. And I got this cute little thing. I wanted to add more pink in the apartment. And the pride and joy, this freaking chair. It's so sleek. It's so comfortable. I'm so happy I invested in it. Oh, was it even recording? Oh my god, that's so annoying. So, basically, the other part of it is my kitchen. I don't... I, half the shit I've had in my kitchen, I took from college and like shipped here and had in St. Louis. Like, it's very dire and it makes me not want to cook. It makes me go get Starbucks every day because I don't really like the Nespresso. And so that's why we have some things to do here. I'm going to, so let's like look. This is my $10 coffee maker that I've been using that fucking sucks. My Nespresso I'm selling to a good home and I have a Brita now, like a big Brita, because the little Brita water bottle that I love so much, I just wanted more versatility and like if I have guests over. So I've been doing this in the Simple Modern Cup. Then I love my pans. I use the snake eggs, but I love my Caraway Home pans. Definitely check those out. I have a code if you want it. And I love my air fryer. But one thing I don't love is my blender, my Ninja, my Ninja my Nutribullet, so I'm getting a new one of those. So I'm gonna get a new coffee maker, a new Nutribullet, some new silverware and knives and everything because mine are like gross old Ikea. And we're updated, we're, we're leveling up.
delicious trip out. I wanted to get my nails done, pick up a new coffee maker from Target, do all this stuff. Um, the nail people took forever and I was not happy. Like it actually made me have such a bad mood so much that I canceled my date with Jeff and I'm gonna have a solo night in because I'm just like really not feeling like myself right now. So let's get into that. Something I do to make myself feel better is get my nails done. Here they are, they look good. So then I went to Target and Trader Joe's. Let me show you what I got. So for the bar cart, I got these glasses from Target. Let's see if they look good. They said they're for us. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. A margarita is going in here tonight. Then I just got some more of the bowls that I use every day because like I reach for one of these every day and like it's never available. And a restock because I'm gonna have a bath tonight, sure fucking am. Then I went to the liquor store for my bar cart and I got some Contra. Contra. It's for margaritas. You're supposed to put this in it if you wanna bake like a real one. So I'm gonna put some of that in. And I also got two little champagne bottles to put on there. I think they look cute. Babe, buy yourself the flower. Usually Jeff buys these for me, but I'm out and I needed some. And then a bunch of stuff for a cheese board. So I love a good cheese board. Let me get these out. So I got a few things for a cheese board. These are the best toasts at Trader Joe's. They're a little big. I wish they were smaller, but they're perfect. I personally prefer pepperoni and this is a personal cheese board. So then some unexpected cheddar and boursois are the two cheeses I got because it's just one person and then I'm always, I'm always out of shallots so I got more too. And some um, strawberry jam. So that's my haul. Now I'm gonna unpack all of this, this uh, have my cheese board and, ooh, tough. Unpack all of this take a long shower and wash my hair um i have my cheese board and decide what i want to eat for dinner and order it so that's my plan and there we have it first of all you get a quick look at my bar cart but dinner peaches marg real housewives plus new gossip girl plus more real housewives it does not get better than this this is me